God bless, amen, fire and ice. Tired, but ready. Ready for what? You have to ask yourself these questions. You see yourself doing something great. Especially notations of the kingdom. Great things for kingdom. Great things for what is to come after this life. But in order to do great things, you need to go ahead and prepare and do it while you're still in this life, while you still are in the physical. You know? While you're still here, ready. But are you willing to make the changes necessary right now in order to fulfill those as in things you're holding on to that it's hard to let go of? Secret addictions. Things that maybe you shouldn't be holding on to in order for God's kingdom to be glorified, to move forward with that. Amen. What are you willing to stop and put aside right now? Just stop right now. In order to fulfill these things that you see yourself doing, you already have dreams and everything else set in place. It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of getting up and doing them. Because what you have to ask yourself is like, if something is holding myself back, what am I supposed to do in order to put these things, stop these things, put these things down in order to move forward into the next steps that you're supposed to be doing, you know? What keeps putting you down and how to get past the, not just pray about it, but actually you putting, you also doing your part and effort to make the changes push and go forward and move forward you know what are you willing to do for that willing to do willing to push aside and push forward so you can you can get through these things you know what is holding you back holding you down from doing these things how can you make the changes to go forward yourself not making complaints or excuses for certain things but really you might be you just might not even see it pray that God would show you uh, something to see if you are making excuses or something for that so you can see it and then put it down put down what you need to put down in order to go forward and move forward amen it's the only way you're going to be able to do it. The only way to get through things is to make the necessary changes to get past these things, to make, to get through it, to move forward, amen. It's just a must, it's a necessary in order for growth and growth to happen, to go forward, to move forward. You know, even if you, even if you're moving slow, better than no progress at all just put it in your mind that you see yourself doing it and then just make the even if it's a slow process just do it anyway just make those processes even if it's slow you gotta quit looking at, at it at a world's lens the world's point of view saying this is how fast or how how much change you're supposed to be making in this matter of town and just matter of time and just do it in your own time but just make sure you are doing it that's the most important thing most make sure you are putting in the effort to do it and let Christ's spirit lead you to what you're supposed to do and how to get there you know and it never also hurts to listen all always like listen to other vessels of believers and take some of their advice as well it never hurts to do that as well Note that. Key that. Put that in your notes. You know. It will never hurt. Just go forward. Be, um... 
you may feel like a prodigal son because you sleep too low, feel like you sleep too low, but you can always bounce back from that. You know, um, you're never too late to bounce back from something, you know, as long as you have breath in your body. But the dreams that God has for you, what you have, you have to do the necessarily changes even if they hurt sometimes to go forward you know it's just part of the process it's ugly at first but then later on it will get more pretty ugly before it gets pretty I should say so. God bless him man fire nice God speak